We all know that cryptocurrencies are hailed for their privacy and anonymity, where your transactions are publicly available on the blockchain for everyone to see. Still, no one can decipher who is making the transactions to whom. But did you know that the blockchain is not entirely private and that your funds can be traced back to you? Privacy coins were introduced into the cryptocurrency market to solve this problem. Privacy coins are cryptocurrencies that add another layer of anonymity to their users' activity and that makes the transactions anonymous and encrypted to all observers on the blockchain. In this video, we dive deep into the Monero ecosystem, the largest privacy coin today used for all kinds of illicit activities on the dark web. We look at some of the features of Monero that allows it to be used as an untraceable medium or exchange for illegal activities. We also look at Monero's current use on the dark web and regulators' responses to these developments. But before we jump into the dark world of Monero, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so we can continue serving you exciting content like this. The idea for Monero was first outlined in October 2013 inside a white paper written by a pseudonymous writer named Nicholas von Seberhagen, or CryptoNote. In the white paper, CryptoNotes argued that Bitcoin was flawed because it was traceable, highlighting that privacy and anonymity are the most important aspects of electronic cash. In 2014, after a discussion on an online forum called Bitcoin Talk, another pseudonymous developer named Thankful for Today coded the ideas from Saber Hagen's white paper into a cryptocurrency called Monero. Monero's official website explains that the coin is built on three core values, security, privacy, and decentralization. Monero uses different techniques and methods to achieve these values, which makes it a far more private and untraceable currency to use. For example, a method called stealth addresses can be used to receive money that is encrypted. This means that recipients can withdraw funds without anyone being able to trace the address to the user. Moreover, Monero also uses a technique called ring signatures. Ring signatures mix up your transaction with as many as 100 other trades so that the sender address is mixed with random transactions and every subsequent movement of that money makes it even harder to trace the money back to the source. And lastly, the ring confidential transactions feature hides the amount and details of each transaction. In the developer community, privacy coins like Monero are referred to as Anonymity Enhanced Cryptocurrencies, or AECs for short. Monero is the most popular and valuable AEC, but other top currencies include Zcash, ZEC, Oasis Network, Rose, Secret, SCR, and Decred, DCR. The best part of Monero is its active and contributing developer community that keeps adding to the functionality of the cryptocurrency. Data shows that Monero has the third largest community of developers, right behind Ethereum and Bitcoin. This community of developers is divided into various work groups, such as infrastructure, development, regulatory compliance, etc. A member of the developer community, Aaron Hoffer, explained that although Monero is entirely decentralized, the core team of Monero comprises of seven members who call the shots on the final code. The core team also maintains the coin's infrastructure and repositories, but they often rely on the community for technical changes. Simply put, Monero is the dream of privacy enthusiasts and internet hippies who wish to stay anonymous. Due to these features, in 2016, the price for Monero jumped by 27 times, probably making it the best performing cryptocurrency of the year. With a market cap of a whopping $3 billion, Monero currently sits around $175 and continues to gain on other major cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. However, since Monero has been built with privacy in mind, it also makes it the perfect tool for industries that do not want their activities to be noticed by anyone especially by regulatory authorities. The internet is dark and full of terrors, and in all these dark places on the web, Monero is sure to be found. These include the dark web market, comprising traders who use the blockchain to pay for illegal drug trades, weapons, human trafficking, and ransomware. Experts also comment that the privacy coin can also be used in other activities like gambling and porn industries. They also believe that it can be used for other forms of financial privacy like keeping your net worth secret while performing transactions or buying books and content on banned subjects. Monero is a favorite for the dark web market. 
and these markets have started to move away from Bitcoin for their online trades. In August of 2021, for example, a dark market site with thousands of vendors called Alphabay began to offer the option to accept Monero as an alternative to Bitcoin. After Alphabay and another small web market called Oasis integrated the cryptocurrency, its value immediately increased sixfold. According to Alphabay, Monero accounts for 2% of its sales, which might sound a measly amount, but comes out to millions of dollars in revenue every year. Moreover, the most active dark web marketplace called the White House Market has given up on Bitcoin and now only accepts Monero on its platform. Other dark web projects like the Versus Project and ASAP are also moving to the stealthier cryptocurrency and away from Bitcoin. One other popular industry becoming increasingly dependent on Monero is the ransomware industry. People on the web are increasingly demanding their ransom to be paid in Monero so that the money remains fungible and hard to track. Revil, a renowned ransomware group also believed to be behind the attack on Meatpacker JBS, has removed the option of paying in Bitcoin this year, demanding Monero only. There was also one instance where the ransom amount was decreased if you paid it in Monero. For example, Darkside, the group allegedly behind the Colonial Pipeline hack, did allow payments in Bitcoin or Monero, but charged 10 to 20% premium to victims paying in Bitcoin. Imagine getting a discount on your ransom amount just because you use a particular cryptocurrency. According to crypto compliance expert Aaron Hoffer, around 10 to 20% of all ransoms are paid today in Monero. And according to him, this figure could rise to 50% by the end of 2022. But how have popular exchanges and regulatory authorities responded to this meteoric rise of Monero? Popular centralized cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase has not listed the privacy coin on its marketplace to avoid any trouble from the regulatory authorities, especially US authorities. Binance, on the other hand, which is the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world and does billions in business every day, does allow transactions in Monero. The cryptocurrency has also been on the radar of regulatory authorities and agencies. Although the regulatory authorities have been looking closely at cryptocurrency in general, they have shown a keen interest in the Monero ecosystem. For example, in 2020, the International Revenue Service granted a $500,000 award to the blockchain analysis companies Chain Analysis and Integra to track XMR transactions and develop Monero's tracing tools. If either of the companies succeeded in doing this, another $125,000 would be rewarded. The US Treasury's Network on Financial Crimes Enforcement and Europol also regularly mentions Monero in its advisories and documentation. To wrap it up, Bitcoin is still the most prominent cryptocurrency on the dark web market, but Monero is catching up fast as popular marketplaces integrate it into their ecosystem. This is primarily because people and marketplaces on the dark web realize that Bitcoin might not be as private as they had imagined. As marketplaces keep moving towards Monero and other privacy coins, they will automatically contribute to its growth as cryptocurrency and in turn will trigger aggressive actions from regulatory authorities from the US and around the world. Remember that we never give out financial advice in our videos, especially not for currencies with a controversial past like Monero. If you are too bored of the usual crypto drama and want us to continue serving such fascinating videos, uh, make sure to leave us a thumbs up and comment below with what you think of Monero and its connection to the dark world.